Hello guys, it's Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round 5 of YCS London 2023, and we have Jack S on Super Heavy Samurai versus David K on Cash Tira, and yes, this is current format, we don't even have the new Super Heavy Samurai stuff yet, so it's crazy that they're playing it, uh, they're gonna start off with a Flourishing Hills, um... I'll be honest, I don't know what half of these cards are probably going to do. I know the good Super Heavy Samurais, but I don't know, like, some of the random ones. Um, so they're going to go ahead and search for the uh, hills, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. And then bring out the level 1. I know what the Vernissifs do, but I don't know what uh, some of the Super Heavy Samurai stuff does. But it's going to be interesting to see it, because both these players are 4-0 currently. Uh, they're going to discard Therion, King... Uh, for the Vernislip effect, and then dump, and then bring out from the grave. Uh, it's going to bring out the Therion King. I like how this deck works with like the Earth stuff, like Therion King and stuff. And also, if they're playing like the Super Heavy Samurai right now, they're probably not playing any spells or traps in their deck. So that way, they can get access to like the full value of their cards. Uh, Link 1, discard, bring out the Soul Piercer there. And then, okay. Then what? Okay, link that off into the link one. And then activate Soul Piercer to go search. Okay. And then, oh, is that Earth Machine cards in there too? Oh, also, sorry if you can hear, like, lightning and stuff. Um, yeah, it's like Stormoon. So, they're gonna use the effect to equip. Okay. And then effect tribute to go special summon. So, what does this bring out? Let's see, gearbox, bullet train. So cool that this is actually being played. And, like, it's 4-0 right now. Um, okay, so summon effect, summon back out from the graveyard. So that's going to bring out the Soul Piercer. Yep. That's, uh, it's one of the ones that's, like, actually going to be played in, um, the new set that comes out in about one month from now, actually. And then, uh, I'm confused. Okay, okay, okay. They're going into the extra deck. Not the main deck. I was like, what are we going into the main deck for? What, are we tributing to summon something? Uh, okay, so we're going to get the Ancient Gear effect to go search Gearbox. And we're going to get Soul Piercer effect to search. So we search Gearbox there. And the Soul Piercer searches for a level 1. Not sure which Super Heavy Samurai that is. And then Gearbox to reveal itself to go search. You know, that's uh, that's just classic Earth Machine things. Uh, they're going to go search out Tunneler. And then Tunneler is the one that uh, allows you to like banish itself from the graveyard and shuffle back five Earth Machines and draw two. So they're going to summon out the level one and then tribute the Link one to summon out Tunneler. Is this just like the optimal way to Earth Machine? No way, right? Okay, Link those three off, go summon. And then that will bring out Appalooza, okay? Because they're not locked in the machine, they are locked into only using Earth effects this turn, but you can still summon Apo. I'll had to, uh, maybe had a runny nose or something. Uh, activate the tunnel air effect, banish, go ahead, put back, and then draw. Okay. So they're gonna put back those five and then draw all right okay 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 so try to draw some non-engine maybe if their deck even plays any i feel like there's very very little non-engine in their deck should have peeped that when they were going through oh i see ash in their hand so they draw into another ash blossom though that's unfortunate Past turn, so ends with Appalooza, Therion, King, Regulus, and Ash Blossom. It's, like, decent. It's not good, but it's decent. 
As long as the cards in hand produce enough follow-up. Oh, it's Gearbox, Double Ash, and then the one that, when it's summoned, lets you bring back. So they're going to activate Pressured Planet. Now, you could Ash this to stop them from getting a body, because otherwise, the body beats over Appalooza. Yeah, so they're just going to Ash that. Put them on Have No Big Cash Tiros. Next play is going to be like Summon Unicorn. Are you reading Appalooza? Oh, okay. I was like, there's no way. So, I mean, the Cash Tier player is thinking about. Oh my god, Unicorn doesn't activate, it just summons. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, there's just no way you don't know that, right? There's no way you don't know Unicorn doesn't activate the summon. You're 4-0 out of Y. How are you even at the YCS? To the <laughs> like, that's just crazy. Otherwise, you'd be able to, like, Fenrir, banish Unicorn on summon. But, okay, summon Unicorn... They can go battle phase attack over Appalooza. Main phase two, Unicorn try to grab Theosis. Theosis, if they Therion King, that's sure. Oh, the Unicorn. Oh, wait, they have Talons. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 that's nice. So, that's going to grab the Therion King Regulus. Sure. That's okay. Oh. They're going to Therion King negate that. I was going to say, you don't want them to take that, but they could just battle phase beat over, and that's all the interruptions gone anyways. Activate Thrust. So, Thrust will go ahead search. They already went through Talents, though, so it's like, and they went through the field spell, so Terraforming is not good. They could grab Pot of Prosperity. Desires. One of those. Maybe set Imperm. Set Theosis. So that way Unicorn can grab Birth. I actually like that. Yeah, yeah, set Theosis. Or not not set it, but like add it to hand so that way um, Unicorn can grab Birth. You definitely don't want to set it. Because then you can't activate it that turn. Okay, so, up next, they're thinking, okay, yeah, activate the Osis, target goes summon, sure, maybe they just want to make sure they don't mess up, wait, there's 3,600 people signed up for this main event, that's a lot of people, that's probably, that's probably top 64, right? Because I, I think LA had, like, a little over 3,000. And we were, we were talking about that, how, like, it, it's, like, harder to play Despi at an event like this. Just because the longer and the more rounds there are, there's more rounds that you can get hit with Ash Blossom. So, they're going to bring out Cash Tira Rise Heart. It's just taking forever. Activate Pot of Prosperity. Holy... Their hand was just so solid. For not... Oh my gosh, it was solid. For not having, like, hand traps. It's pretty good. So, Prosperity for six. You definitely don't go for three here. Definitely go for six. Try to hit good cards. Maybe a solid hand trap. Or maybe, like, a book type card some non-engine interruption so banish look you see the lava golem terraforming ogre forbidden lands unicorn and scarecrow cash tira um well that's awkward they're going to grab Scareclaw Cash Tira, because it's not any of, like, the non-engine interruptions that I was just asking for. It was, like, none of those, and I uh, 
But okay, okay. So grab Scareclaw, catch two. We do see Lava Golem in their deck. So Lava Golem, Talents, Thrust. A lot of these go in second cards. They can't even use Scareclaw, catch two right now. They're going to go, what? Why are you using this? Aren't you supposed to go battle phase first? They're going to banish birth for cost. And then they're going to apple lose and negate it, keep it level 4, and make it so they don't have to banish anything face down. Yeah, apple lose and negate that. Okay, unicorn rip from the extra deck. Oh, doesn't want to do that. Okay, sure, doesn't want to look at the opponent's extra deck and banish something face down. That seems dumb. Should have also just went battle phase in the first place though to beat over that. Alright, I mean they're thinking. Okay, so it looks like they are using the unicorn effect to rip. And then they're gonna app lose and negate that. Alright. Battle phase, beat over Appalooza. Um, so it is half damage because Pot of Prosperity. Uh, pressured Planet's making it gain 200 attack, so 27 attack, beating over 800. And the damage is halved, so it's 950 damage. Yep. And then, wait, there's more damage than that? How are they at 6650? Wait, did they use Unicorn Effect to try to search for a spell already? And they Apple negated it? Wait, that's crazy if that's what we did. Okay. I guess. Sure. Also, nice summon Rise Heart in defense if this was the play. Summon Scarecrow Catch Tiro by banishing Theosis. Theosis Effect to add back. Someone said, David drew Crazy God and is fumbling it. Not gonna lie. Yeah, of course. 100%. Like, obviously, they, they waited till the Appalooza had zero attack to beat over it. Like, they were like, oh, I played through the negates. No, don't don't play through the negates. Beat over it. Well, they got the Osis to add back birth, activate birth. They don't have anything in rotation. They just have to overlay first for, like, Mind Hacker. And then they can... Birth summon back. Oh, normal summon out Fenrir. Wow. Was that really their last card? Like, that's crazy. Fenrir effect go search. They fumbled this so bad, though. But, like, there's just no way that they lose. Their opponent only has one engine card in hand. And there's somebody in a rise heart. Fenrir search. Okay. So that was the last unknown card. Now the only card they're going to have in their hand is the Fenrir search. Uh, set search is a unicorn there. The rise heart is level 4, which is definitely coming up very, very, very bad right now. So otherwise they could go like Mind Hacker and then Arise Heart. We should have already looked through their extra work with Unicorn 2 and ripped. But I guess the Appalooza was there. Yeah, never mind. It was just never going to work. They negated it. We know that they have Gearbox in hand. So we know that there's only like two real cards there. They're going to overlay for Shangri Law. Okay. So it's not bad. Why are people saying judge? But okay. So summon out Shangri La. Shangri La is gonna allow them to summon during the standby phase. Oh, never mind. Okay, decide to use three for a rise heart. It just took a very long time to decide they wanted to actually use three to summon that. And then now they are going to pass turn. So Okay, goes ahead and cuts there. Alright, pass. 
draws into a super heavy samurai. I'm not, I don't know what that one does though. Uh, they're gonna go ahead. Okay, so summon, and then effect to bring back. Also, I know you can hear that, and I'm sorry about it, because it kind of sounds like bells or something, but that's just, like, snow falling. So, they're gonna summon, bring back out Soul Piercer. Yup. And then... Um... They have a rise heart. I they they're not locked into anything off of that, so they could just go into Babuska. Babuska Zeus if they play it and out everything, but then they have unicorns, so then they have to be able to keep playing in main phase two. Uh, so they're thinking here, they also did summon a rise heart in the main monster zone and not in the extra monster zone. When you can almost guarantee your opponents on Cerberus because they activated the um, the Vernus Lift cards. At the same time, like you always just summon a Rise Heart in the extra monster zone. So that way your opponent's also locked into the other extra monster zone. So the normal summon out Gearbox. Um, they're thinking here. Oh, they're reading it. It doesn't do anything. It's actually just a blank. So. Someone says, if Jack loses, I'd make David go first next game, honestly, after seeing his build. Um, okay. I guess that's fair. Depends what Super Heavy Samurai is trying to set up. I feel like that wasn't all they were trying to set up. They just happened to only be able to set up Darion, King, Appaloosa, and Ash in hand. I feel like they probably can set up a little bit more, especially if they're 4-0 right now. So they said, sure, that's fine. And then they're going to use those to link into a Nightmare Cerberus. And then activate the Cerberus effect. Discard the Super Heavy Samurai. It's going to get banished. Well, Arise Heart 1, Cerberus 2. We got discard for cost. And then Cerberus is channeling 2, so they're not going to get to attach. Because it's going to be popped. But you are going to get a rise heart to go banish the soul piercer. Yup. They're all banished because of rise heart. Banish the soul piercer. Like it's not even a question. No. Are you kidding me? You actually banished Cerberus? Over soul piercer? Like, what? Okay, then that gets popped. Um, they can make the Link 1 now. Yeah, they can just make the Link 1. Like, what? You don't even have, you don't even have to know these cards to know that play. You just don't banish Cerberus over an engine card. Who cares about Cerberus? Soul Piercer effect goes search. So, Soul Piercer, go ahead. And they're going to grab out the level 1 that can equip itself to Scarecrow. Um, and then tribute to bring out a Super Heavy Samurai from deck. But they can also discard Ash Blossom with this to summon out. So that's going to bring out from the graveyard. Okay. Um, and then use... Wait. They already use that effect this turn. Right? Yeah, that's what they started off with. So they're not able to use that again. Okay. Then they have this little Peacemaker in hand. That can go ahead and summon a Super Heavy Samurai from the deck, but it shouldn't really be able to do anything. Unless if they play the Super Heavy Samurai that lets them take a spell from the opponent's grave, because they can actually make talents live. Activate Soul Piercer. Um, and then Soul Piercer effect. It's gonna tribute to go special out of Super Heavy Samurai from the deck now. Um, okay, let's find out. So they're gonna bring out. I don't know what they're gonna go for. They have so many options, so many cards I don't know. 
Um, okay, brings out a level 4 super. Not sure what that card is. But they're gonna summon it, and it looks like they're explaining it to the opponent. Oh, wait, is that the one that switches itself to attack and then searches? Okay, never mind. That, that one's actually played, like, with the new stuff. And then effect goes search. That's gonna grab out a level 1. Alright. And then use that effect. Yeah, that's wagon. Yeah, I, I actually knew that card. I couldn't tell what it was, though. And then get rid of itself. It's not like I'm an expert at these cards yet or anything, though. Um, definitely new to them. Relinquished Anima to take Rise Heart. The cheese? <laughs> get, gets punished for uh, bad zone placing. They'll be able to play around it in the future. Um... I'm not sure how they're searching there. I'm not gonna lie. Not quite sure. Also, I don't like how the light in my room is like flashing like that. It has me thinking the power's gonna go out. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, Soul Piercer comes out now by using the Awakening of Possessed Archfiend. Okay. I don't even know what that card is. But they're going to attack the opponent now. Um, for a very decent amount of damage. Not a good amount of damage. Very decent amount of damage. They still have to be able to set up interruptions though. Because the opponent has birth and unicorn in hand. So you have to be able to out this. Even just like Babushka Pass isn't enough. Because they can make Shangri-La and then on your standby phase. Shangri-La effect try to summon pressure to planet pop. So, like, that's just not going to be enough. They also play Geo in their extra deck. Geo and Anima. Wow, they can really punish bad zone placing. Okay. They're still thinking about what to make. I'm sorry. It just cannot be that hard of a decision. We're gonna have to ask you to play quicker. Oh, okay, go into the ancient gear, and then they're gonna get Soul Piercer effect to go search. Okay, okay, never mind. I'll let you keep cooking. I'll let you keep cooking. And then, um, they're gonna go ahead and link those off now in the unicorn. Unicorn effect, discard to spin back birth. Okay. Does that card give you a search? Like the card that you just discarded? No, okay. Well, if that's all, then they have Unicorn. <laughs> May as well have went to Babuska at that point. Hope you can top deck out of it. They must have forgot they searched. The Unicorn. Now they just go like main phase, summon out, catch Tira Unicorn, and win. So... Yeah, main phase, summon, effect, go search birth, not sure why they went for unicorn, not sure why they summoned nightmare unicorn, effect, grab birth, do they have some type of graveyard effect, activate birth, yeah okay they're just gonna scoop it up. So hopping into the next game now, uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to skip forward, um, okay, whoa, 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 okay, 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 so we're going to see Super Heavy Samurai go first here, um, they're going to start off with the, uh, hills, that's the, oh wait, that's not the hills, that's the, that's the duck, so they're going to draw one and then summon back out an earth from the graveyard. They're going to Ash that, shutting that down. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. It stops a draw and a summon back from the graveyard. And they spent two cards to do that. So it feels like a good Ash Blossom. Okay, that's Seedling. Okay. That's, that's Ducks on a Farm. That's five Ducks on a Farm. And then they're going to go Normal Summon, Effects, Switch to Defense... Well, I'm pretty sure it switched to defense. Guess I'm wrong, but okay. 
But they're trying to summon back out from the graveyard. Alright. And then... Okay, well it summons from graveyard, then switches itself to defense. Oh no. Never mind. I'm just wrong. It summons the card from graveyard and defends. Equip from hand, and then tribute off itself in the scales. Uh, go ahead and summon out a super heavy samurai from the deck. Bring out soul piercer. That's okay. And then... Hopefully we get to see some shenanigans. Like they did last game. The thing is... Is there is only 20 minutes left and the cash tier player did win game one a lot of cash tier players are not ready for time i'd actually say like 99 percent of cash tier players don't have a time card so they're gonna summon anima okay and then they're gonna get the level one effect to go search so then that's going to go ahead and grab the level 5 that we saw last time. And then get rid of those to summon. And then effect and soul piercer effect. I still don't know what the level 5 does. I should actually bring up the text on it again. Because they brought it up last game. But I don't remember what it did to be honest. Or what it does. Oh. Imperm. Okay, that card says you can summon it by hand by sending one... Face up spellcaster, one level four, earth control to the grave very you can only use the following effects of this once per turn when it's summoning special on one level four, lower monster from your graveyard, but negate its effects. If the card summoned from the field of the graveyard, you can summon one spiritual something art card or press up spell or trap, or you can add one. Oh, okay, they're just passing the imperm there. That's not good. That is not good. And with how this cash hero player opened last game, I feel like it's going to be the same in this game. We're just going to, like, special summon out Unicorn or something. Oh, activate Pot of Prosperity. That is, um, that is pretty much summon Unicorn. There's four field spell and three Unicorn that we can just hit directly off of this. Or we could hit, like, a Theosis and have another cash hero already. And that would also just be auto game. So, Banish 6, we see Talons, Prosperity, Ash, Theosis, Rise Heart, and Prep. They kept prepping going second, by the way. They're going to grab Theosis, put the rest of the cards to the bottom of the deck. Okay, so they definitely have another cash if uh, they're grabbing Theosis there. So grab that special summon out catch Tiro Ogre. Wow, and they left in the prep, so they can use this to go search that if they want. And also, uh, Ogre is really solid here because it can attack over and then stack the opponent's deck and rip a card from it. So we're going to like, well, it's not like stacking the opponent's deck, but if their next card is good, we rip it, and they have to draw the card after. So we're going to Ogre, grab Prep. They're going to read over the Prep real quick. It just summons a Cash Tira from Hand or Banished. And then it has the effect where if the opponent activates a Trap card, then you can use the effect on a new Chain Link to look at the opponent's hand and rip a card from it and banish it face down. Gonna you know, use each effect of that once per turn. So activate Theosis now, target Cash Tira Ogre, go summon. Yep, that's fine. So what do you want to summon here? Do you want to summon Unicorn and get access to Birth? Or do you want to summon Fenrir and get access to Cash Tira Rise Heart? I guess it depends what else you have in hand. Um, okay, they're gonna summon out Fenrir. And then they can activate the Fenrir effect to go search. Yeah, so get that effect to go search. I feel like you just gotta play faster here. Like, you don't want to get a draw at a time. And the thing is, is like, if you actually don't play a card for time, then game three, you have to play very, 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 very fast. Because you have to combo turn one and be able to pass turn. So that way the opponent can play out their turn, and then you can come back to your turn and attack. 
or you just make them go first so that way you have an opportunity to attack if there's like really not a lot of time left but then you have to draw hand traps to stop the opponent from comboing so they Fenrir searched okay battle phase attack and then use the effect so it's gonna look at the top five cards stack them well like rip one banish it face down and then stack them back in the same order so first card second card okay so they're top taking gamma and then we're banishing i want to say the scales it's probably just like a two of in their deck so rip the scales banish it face down make them top deck gamma Okay, I guess we don't, okay, so we're going to make them top deck Ash. Okay, I guess, um, I guess maybe we're making a Rise Heart this turn or something, so we don't want them to have Gamma. Doesn't look like we're making a Rise Heart. I could stand corrected. We can go into Shangri-La and use its effect. But I feel like. We're probably not going in the Shangri-La since we saw that they have Ash, and we don't want to take away our Fenrir interruption, nor our Ogre interruption, being able just to banish more cards. Okay, they're going to overlay those. And then summon out the Shangri-La. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have even done that. Set Imperm, set Prep. They have Unicorn and Lava Golem in hand. And then Pass Turn. Okay. Sure. That's fine. They draw Ash. Standby Phase. Shangri-La Effect. Chain Ash Blossom on it. Otherwise, you're going to get hit with a Fenrir. Okay, so they actually just let that go through. Someone said, dude, just search Rise Heart. Yeah, uh, Rise Heart definitely should have been searched over Unicorn, because Rise Heart gives you a Rise Heart, and at the same time, it lets you banish from deck. So, I mean, you'd probably just banish Big Bang, to be honest. And then you have a Rise Heart detached Fenrir at some point. You also have Big Bang that'll end up getting attached. So they're going to imprim the wagon to stop them from being able to switch to defense and go search. Yeah, um, not sure, they don't, okay, so they have the link one, yeah, they have the link one, but what do they bring back and what do they do afterwards? I think they have scales in their graveyard. Okay. So summon and then effect to bring back. So discard and then yeah, it's going to bring out scales. And then, Scales effect to bring back. Okay. So, that summons back Soul Piercer? Probably? No, I mean, it looks like they want to bring out Wagon. Okay. That's okay. And then wagon effect to go search. So I'm pretty sure they imperm the on summon effect before. Which is like fair enough. I mean they imperm the car without reading it. So like yeah, nice one. Nice one. Could have prevented that. Then they're gonna go search. To be fair, the cash tier player has been playing bad the whole match. They've drawn insane and they just can't do what they need to do. 
Um, equip from hand, the level one. And then anything there. Okay, and then unequip. Okay. Someone said, is he not running the synchros? It doesn't seem like it. No, they're not. They're actually not playing any synchros, which is crazy to me. Summon out the ancient gear, ancient gear effect. Okay, so they're reading that. Uh, they're gonna activate prep to summon out unicorn from hand. Okay. <laughs> like, nice. Sure. Well played. So they're gonna grab the ancient gear box and then activate ancient gear box. Well, they can't get unicorn effect to rip first. They have to search. Oh my god, they're actually thinking like, oh, on the res link, I'm gonna be able to activate unicorn, but that's not how it works because it wasn't there to check. But okay, they're gonna go ahead and search out tunneler and now they can get unicorn effect to rip. Which is what? No, they actually didn't even do it. Summon Tunneler. Did you really just forget all about Unicorn in those two seconds? Okay. Now using the effect to go ahead and rip. Uh, probably just ripping like an access code from their extra deck. Okay, reading over prep. Yeah, it can indeed summon from hand. Yeah, okay, ripping access code. And then we can go Shangri-La effect to lock a monster zone. Maybe we forgot about Shangri-La to lock. Or maybe they don't want, like, a token or something being on board to represent it. So then we're going to link off and then summon out Unicorn. They also play in the Geo with that Unicorn summon. Affect the spin back. Oh wait, we actually are just put in top deck mode here. <laughs> spin back Shangri-La. We can beat over Unicorn. Prep can't summon from Grave. Wow. They have Tunneler to go ahead and draw. Okay, so beat over. And then attack. Someone said beat over plus Appaloosa might be be okay. I mean, this is okay right here. You're putting them on top deck. Which is, like, more than what we could have possibly asked for. Like, they, they, they played it so wrong. That they might actually just lose the Super Heavy Samurai on stream now. Make Appalooza. And they took a while to do their plays too. They didn't even tunnel or draw. I guess just saving it for the next turn. Not sure. Why. You definitely were supposed to just do that there. Main phase. Top deck Pancratops. Oh my gosh. Battle phase, attack over for a thousand, putting them ahead of life points and also giving them an interruption and a body to try to save them from taking any more damage. They had Tunneler, right? Oh, he topped like Soul Piercer. So. They have Tunneler Draw, they have Soul Piercer. I mean... Okay. They're thinking here. There's six minutes left. Alright, so...
I'm so confused. Like, it's just Tunneler Draw. Yeah. Like, Tunneler, Banish, Shuffle Back, Draw, do this before trying to commit to our play so we can see what we actually are going to do. They just need to, like, not lose the time here. Isn't that six? Okay, no, it's five, never mind. So, put back and draw. Okay, 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 okay. What do they draw here? Do they draw any Vernus Slips? Maybe draw a Therion King Regulus? Oh! Oh, they drew their own Pinker Tops. Ha! Special Pinker Tops. And then Effect Pop Pinker Tops. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Pinker Tops versus Pinker Tops in 2023. That's crazy. And now they just have to do a very small amount of damage. Just scoop! Please, just scoop! Oh my gosh. Make the link one effects. Search and search. Yeah, on like. Uh. Time card would be broken here. Going into game three. Just scoop it up. Going into game three. Arsenal Falcon summon burn game. So it searches for two level ones. And then they're going to activate the link one, discard the special summon back, bring out scales, scales effect, bring back out from the graveyard the soul piercer. And then equip to Soul Piercer, effect tribute to go special summon out a super heavy samurai. And then they're going to search. They bring out the big Benki, which can attack while it's in defense, and it has 35 defense. So they only need to do 33 damage. Equip the level one. And I'm pretty sure it does like double damage, right? Oh no, two attacks and double damage. So attacks for game. So moving on into game three now. There's only three minutes left. So we can skip to game three. If it even happens. Are they going to be able to present their decks by then? Okay, it looks like they do. They side deck and like... They side deck shuffle in literally 40 seconds. I can respect it. Um, the Super Heavy Samurai player put in a bunch of Kaijus, but I don't even think that's correct. Actually, it's like fine, right? Oh my god. Set a monster pass. Oh my god, they got double kaiju. That's actually just game. They win. Super Heavy Samurai wins. Wow. Nah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Um, I don't know which Vernus if that was. Okay, they're going to drop Shifter now though. Should have dropped it before. They played in the Vernusif. Oh, wait, they got hit with also the Earth Channeler. Summon Kaiju. Okay. Then they're going to summon their own Kaiju. They have Therion King to summon and equip from the graveyard. Um. Okay, they're going to go ahead and swing over. Oh, the game is still gets banished because of Shifter. And then attack with the Kaiju. There's only 55 seconds left. The thing is, the opponent has to be able to do damage next turn. And they bricked. So. It's not looking like it's going to be easy. Summon out Soul Piercer. Which could have been done beforehand. So that way we could have um, attacked for more damage. Wait, why did we even do that? Am I dumb? The crit just doesn't do anything. Okay. I guess we take no bow damage from attacks involving that card. So it's like... That could make it to where they mess up. At the same time, it took like an extra 15 seconds to summon that. 
So special summon out Pankertops, normal summon out Ash Blossom. We're down by 33 though, so Fleur doesn't win us the game or anything like that. Time is called. Super Heavy Samurai wins the game. 5-0. Oh. Wow. That's actually crazy. That's super, if Super Heavy Samurai tops this YCS, it's actually going to be broken. I'm not going to lie. Because, like, they don't even have their support yet. But, GG's, GG's. And with all that being said, uh, that is going to be it for round 5. I'm going to be back at it again with round 6 very shortly. I'm also going to have YCS LA. Um, I'm probably going to record over there round 1. Maybe even as the next video. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.